Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's question of the day is do I think that people look for drama and negativity subconsciously? Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back. So can I first just say how I'm loving this little ragged ponytail sitting up here? I really am. <laughs> Anywho, so the question of the day. Yes is my answer. Yes, I do believe that people look for drama and negativity subconsciously. Um, it's not something that we wake up consciously saying, you know what, I'm going to go look for some drama today. I'm going to actually text all of the people in my phone and give them a piece of my mind. Or I'm going to text that dude today and give him a piece of my... Well, let me take that back. Some people do wake up and do act, do that consciously. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I truly do. I, I think that it also has to do with our environments and the things that we have been accustomed to via what we have been seeing, such as the daytime television shows or the reality TV. Just think about this. The things that actually get shared on our social media pages the most, the ones that go viral, are, have a lot to do with the negativity, whether it's the police brutality, the killings that they've been getting away with, because black lives do matter. Or it could be the fact that um, the, the ratchet reality TV shows. Now, I may mention that I actually watch some of those shows. But, actually there is no but. I actually like the drama. Consciously I like the drama. Because <laughs> for a lot of us, even though we're not looking at it like this, a lot of us like to look at their lives and say, you know what, my life is actually good. All of that is a no. Like, I would never put myself on TV and talk about knowing that my man has a boo and kind of let him do all of this stuff. You wouldn't necessarily do that, but we live and thrive. Just think about when there's a fight scene. Those are the videos that go viral. Real quick. Think about when, when all of the bad stuff that happens those are the videos that go viral real quick. Now, think about this. You see somebody then put on their page or post it, and they have put something positive up there like, I started my own company. You might see that they got five likes and zero shares. But now, let that fight come out. You have gotten 50,000 shares, got a whole bunch of likes, got a whole bunch of laughing faces, even got some hearts in there with a whole bunch of comments. Why y'all sharing this? But secretly, we, we want to hear that stuff. Secretly, we want, we want to see that stuff. Because I ain't going to be doing all of that stuff, right? But it only takes a moment for you to do something bad, per se, and it be caught on camera. Because nowadays, we, we walk around with a computer and a camera in our pockets or in our hands all day long. And it only takes a second for somebody to take you there. Especially if they caught you on a good day. And a good day means a bad day for you. We like to share that stuff. We do. We want everybody to see that stuff. But have positive messages out there, they very rarely get shared. Or in comparison, they don't get shared as much. You might have a viral video on a fight that's gotten 59, 70 million views. But a positive message might get... 5,000 or 100,000 views. Completely different. The people that we are in front of everybody is the mask that we have on. The true person is the person behind closed doors. We're doing the things that we wouldn't want people to see behind closed doors. Okay, just say for instance, here in California, they just, and this, this became national, national news, which is where the husband and wife had a multitude of kids. I think it was they had like 14 or 17 kids, something like that. And they, they would chain them up throughout the day and they was homeschooling them. And so they would never, the kids would never have to leave. And finally, the 17 year old girl finally broke free. And this is how it became national news. The one guy, the brother, he looked like he was a teenager. Come to find out this dude was 28. 
So the point is, we like to see this stuff. We like to know about it. We crave it a little bit. We do. We do. Just think about what I'm saying. Because a lot of us are actors and actresses. And the thing that actually comes out of our mouth is not the thing that we do behind closed doors. Again, that mask. So yes, I do believe that people look for negativity and drama subconsciously. We are thriving off of all of this negativity. And even though we say we don't want it, even though we post, because a lot of us are postmasters. <laughs> That's what I call them. Postmaster is somebody where you get a whole bunch of things to say when there's something negative happens, but there's nothing, no action behind it. Postmasters. Why are you doing that? I wouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. Da, 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 da. You got all the remedies, but there's no action behind your words. That's a different video. Like I said, my answer is absolutely yes to this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that people look for drama and negativity subconsciously? I absolutely want to hear what you have to say. If this is your very first time here, of course, hit the red subscribe button because here I love me, me, me. I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease all of this toxicity that has been spreading around when it comes to relationships and also so we can decrease that divorce rate. If you like this video, of course, give me thumbs up. And do not forget, March 15th is right around the corner. It is coming up. I actually, what is it? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow. I'll be releasing my three courses tomorrow. My three online courses, I can't wait for you guys to be a part of it. Of course, I will explain them further tomorrow and then give you guys the discount code. I will see you tomorrow. Deuces.